How's it going guys? So today's video we are going to be talking about the Peak Design Micro Clutch, the new Peak Design product. And I figured the best way to show you uh, this product is by doing a little bit of POV action which I haven't done on the channel in a while and show you what this product is all about. If you don't know what this product is, it is a uh, similar, it's pretty much similar to the Peak Design Clutch strap. This is a miniature version of that. And so if you don't know, uh, I've been shooting on the Ricoh GR3X for you know a little while now. And this has been like my main everyday camera. And I hate using neck straps. And so usually with this camera, I use the Peak Design wrist strap. But now this is just another you know sort of way for me to carry the Ricoh GR3X. And so I've been testing it out now for a couple weeks. I first saw it at the Peak Design store a few months ago uh, at like a Peak Design event. And it was under prototype, but I knew immediately when I saw it that I was going to back it on Kickstarter when, I, when it was available. So I am going to get into sort of my critiques and whether I think this camera strap is worth it and who I think it's for, what camera I think uh, is good for. There is a compatibility list that I will get into later. I also feel that uh, this strap is definitely not for everybody. And I think out of all the products I've reviewed on the channel, this is probably the hardest one for me to kind of figure out whether I recommend it for everybody or just for specific people. But. I'm going to get into all of that later, uh, but for now, just enjoy this POV footage of me shooting around for a couple hours here in New York. So. I picked a not so comfortable spot to finish off this video but at least it's in the shade because I was sweating a ton today especially with uh let me know how you guys felt about that new uh POV setup the uh it's DJI Action 2 I think is what it's called and the uh the magnetic sort of necklace made me sweat so much and like the actual camera itself was getting hot and so like it was just super uncomfortable but I'm going to end the video here, here in Central Park, talking uh, kind of some extra points about the Peak Design Micro Clutch. If you see me looking at my phone, it's because I have my notes on here. And if you see me looking onto the screen, I'm just making sure the exposure still looks good, which I think it does. So, so the first point that I'm going to mention is while this is compatible with a lot of different cameras, and I'll put on the screen the compatibility, the compatibility, the combat compatibility list that they have on their website and when uh, I was doing the Kickstarter they had the compatibility list on there too. If it's a lot of cameras they come with two different plates so they come with the eye plate which is what I'm using which is literally just the straight up and down plate pretty much meant for any cameras that don't have a large protruding battery grip. If you have a traditional you know DSLR or mirrorless camera like the Canon R6, the Sony A7, anything like that that actually has a grip 
then there is the L plate and the L plate just helps, I guess, support the extra weight. And so with that being said, I have put this on the R6, but I didn't feel like it was fair for me to talk about this product on the R6 when I don't have the plate that's actually meant for the R6, if that makes sense. So I'm not gonna talk about that too much, but what I am gonna talk about is I can't picture this product or I can't picture the micro clutch working really well as a sole carry option for larger cameras. And so what I mean by that is even with my film camera, which I have in my bag right here, so I'll show you. Even with my film camera, uh, the Ricoh KR5 Super, this isn't a large camera by any means. And I have put the micro clutch on here and it is not something that I would choose to use. I don't like neck straps, but I do use a neck strap with this. Uh, and when I am shooting, I literally just wrap the you know, neck strap around my wrist and shoot like this. Very supportive, very safe. A lot of people do this. Um, and so I feel like that works best with this. But with the micro clutch, uh, this camera just felt too heavy um, and a little too like unbalanced for me to only use the micro clutch and it was like really uncomfortable or not really uncomfortable it was like really uncomfortable for me personally uh on the rico i think it works great i think on a small camera like the rico this works really really well but for a large camera like the canon r6 a sony a7 uh any larger like you know camera even like an xt4 or something like that i don't necessarily think it would be super comfortable for hours and hours of shooting. Just today I shot for two hours with this and it felt pretty comfortable, I can go on. I'm gonna, probably gonna shoot after this for a few more hours and it's still gonna be comfortable. But if I was shooting with like the R6 instead, I know that I wouldn't be as comfortable. Instead, I would probably just go with their larger clutch product that they have. Uh, that's kind of meant for larger cameras originally. That's kind of what it was like meant for like wedding photographer shooting very long days kind of just slip your hand through and it gives you like extra support i think that's a little bit better than this uh on their website and a, a lot of the product photos that i've seen one thing that they do have is photos of people using neck straps with the micro clutch on uh same thing with like tripods they're shooting on tripods while also using the micro clutch and in that sense i actually do think it works a little bit better uh, kind of as like a supplemental tool, not your sole carry option, but if you are using it with a neck strap, I think it works better that way because it just kind of adds like that extra layer of like support and safety and security, if that makes sense. On if I was shooting, I shoot often with the R6 with a capture clip. And I probably would, if I was shooting with R6 with only a capture clip, I would then probably still have the micro clutch attached to it because it's not like it doesn't do anything. It does act as another contact point. A lot of the times when I'm shooting even with, a, with the GR, I kind of just uh, hold it like this, you know, works pretty well. So I don't know. It's, it's one of those products where I feel like at a certain point, it doesn't really work that well. And that's just my opinion. My recommendation, if you do have a larger camera and you're thinking about getting this, is definitely check out people who have used it with bigger cameras. And talking about the capture clip, this does come with a plate that you can use with the screw uh, for the quick release plate that is Arca Swiss compatible. So you can use it on like the tripod I'm using right now. And you can also use it on a Peak Design capture clip, which is good. So, uh, you know, you still have those options available to you as well. And the second point is one that is like very specific to the GR3. Um, the On the Peak Design website, there is a, again, a compatibility list. And on that list, it shows you what uh, cameras are compatible with the plate. Uh, but the other thing that it kind of talks about, and it talks about it with the GR is, in the box, it does come with a triangle split ring and a tool to help you open up the split ring so you don't spend like hours and blood, sweat and tears like opening and cutting up your nail, trying to open up a split ring, which we've all been there. On most cameras, if you don't already have one of those like triangle contact points to like loop through, like for example, my film camera has one uh, where it's like that little triangle where you're able to attach, you know, neck straps and stuff too. If you don't already have that, it comes with that split ring to put it into like the little eyelids a lot of other cameras have. With the GR3, what ends up happening is the, if you know the GR3, the holes to attach any uh, contact points are extremely tight and extremely small for whatever reason Rico did that. And it's almost impossible to get Peak Design anchors on there, but you can get Peak Design anchors on there. This is what I've used in the past for my wrist strap. I used the Peak Design wrist strap uh, previously to owning the micro clutch. And so what Peak Design tells you to do is what I did, which essentially, you attach the, the Peak Design anchor point to the uh, GR, uh, but you loop the micro clutch through the you know hole that's created by the anchor and that's what you use. It is a little bit annoying because uh, it's just like not as pretty and not as nice. You always have this like red anchor sticking out 
and you know it's just a little little bit annoying but at the same time it's really not that big of a deal at first i was a little bothered by it um and at first i was like why not include I don't know, why not include something else? I am convinced that if you use a circular split ring, uh, you might have better luck actually getting it into the GR3 uh, like hole. But I haven't done it yet because I haven't been able to find the proper like circle split ring. So I don't know. It is a little bit annoying, just a, a little bit of a critique that I do wish there was a better solution for the GR3. Uh, so if you do have a GR3, just keep that in mind. Uh, and then the third point I was going to talk about, which I probably already showed a clip of it, and if not, I'll just play the clip here. Um, so with the plate on, there is a screw, and inside the plate, there is a magnetic tool, which I'm surprised I have not lost yet. And you use this to unscrew, and as long as you screw it, pretty much just like three twists, kind of get it like halfway there. This comes loose, pull it apart, and you have access to the battery and you have this half screw. You kind of just do the opposite process when you uh, when you have to put the plate back on. So it's not the most convenient thing, uh, but to be honest, I have no idea what they would have done besides this to uh, make it more convenient. So I think, you know, given that there is a full plate underneath it, uh, I think it's not the worst option. Uh, I'm not a product designer, so I have no idea if, you know, what else they could have done, but uh, you know, yeah, I think it works. I think it's a, uh, I think it's the best compromise that they can have probably. But once you lose this tool, I know it's gonna suck, so. But yeah, it is very peak design. The battery plate option, let's talk about that. So yes, it does have the very conveniently located magnetic, uh, you know, hidden tool accessory. And to be honest, I think this is probably the best option they could have gone with. As long as you don't lose this, you're probably good. It's not a terrible idea. And then another good thing about it is you are able to kind of micro adjust the sizing of the micro clutch. So if you unscrew it a little bit, if let's say it's like too tight, but then you go a little bit looser on the actual measurements on the micro clutch, uh, and then it's too loose, you can just slide the plate a little bit and you can do like millimeter adjustments. And that's actually what I had to do because uh, right now I'm rocking it on six and on six, it felt a little bit too tight. But once I went to seven, it was a little bit too loose. So I found the perfect, like the perfect in between. Uh, just by sliding the plate which is you know a good option to have for sure and i think of, out of all the products that i reviewed this is probably the one that i am like most hesitant to saying it's good for a specific person and not good for another specific person just because i feel like it's a very uh i can already tell this is going to be a product that's not meant for everybody for me personally i do really enjoy it just on the gr3 do you have a gr3 i do think it's worth checking out i will say though i didn't realize that it's like a 65 dollar product uh, when i bought it on the kickstarter i got it at a little bit of a discount and honestly for 60 something dollars it does feel a little steep specific especially considering that the larger version of this the clutch is like 45 dollars and it's bigger and has more material and probably a little bit more rugged uh, so it is expensive um, and if this was like in the $40 range, I would definitely say it's a decent price, but I think 60 is a little bit high. But regardless, I do think if you are a GR shooter, I think it works well. I think if you have like an X100V or X100F, I also think it would work well even with like the XC4. I think once you get into like the Q2, Q3, I do think that the lens and like it's a little bit heavier of a camera, I still think it could work, but I still think it might be a little bit too heavy. Anything that's like small i think it's gonna work really really well once you kind of start getting into like the larger cameras it really is going to be a hit or miss for most people and so with that being said uh but yeah overall i would give this like out of five a like three out of five recommendation it really is hit or miss if you want to try it out go for it uh if you do have a pizza design store near you even though there's like probably like three of them in the u.s uh i would say go check it out if not uh, I don't know, maybe borrow friends or maybe order it and see what the return policy is and return it afterwards if you don't like it because it is definitely a hit or miss product in my opinion. Uh, if you are a GR user, I would say go for it for sure. But I'm gonna conclude the video there. I hope the POV footage was helpful for you. I didn't take a single good photo today. Uh, they were all pretty ass to be honest. So I'm gonna go out now and you know, not focus on making a video and actually shoot some more photos. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please, if there's any questions that you have or any concerns, let them down below and I'll see if I can help you help you with them or answer them. And yeah, also don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe on our way to a thousand. So uh, please make sure you do that. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace guys.